So we've got some pretty massive Z Flip 4 leaks to go over today. Now these leaks are going to be via 9to5Google, who is also via Tech Talk TV, which is a YouTube channel. I'll link to the 9to5Google uh, article down below and you can kind of take it from there. This is basically what we're looking at. We have the Z Flip 4 just absolutely fully leaked at this point which is kind of uh, par for the course at this point in, the, in terms of uh, tech news and so forth. This is it. This is, this is the Z Flip 4, apparently. You can see here, confidential, no photo allowed. Yet yeah, there is a photo. Uh, uh, we're looking at a photo. So, I mean, this person took this picture. Clearly, just doesn't care. They don't care about your sticker, Samsung, so get over it. This looks like a Z Flip 3 in a lot of ways, though, right? So you have the same, you know, two cameras here. This is going to, you're going to be a wide angle and a standard. It's not much change in there. You can see the size of the cover display, and it is slightly larger than the current cover display. So this is something that might be interesting here. Let's look at the size of that hinge area there, right? Look how small that is when you compare it to the Z Flip 3. That was quite a bit larger. Now, we've heard rumors, rumblings about potentially a redesigned hinge on the flip three and the i'm sorry the flip four and the fold four perhaps this is evidence of exactly that we go back and look from the outside though you can see that there still appears to be a gap in the middle so we're still not folding flat disappointment there i think from a lot of people uh here it is closed around the camera bump looks maybe a little bit different maybe it's raised in a different way i don't think that's what my wife's looks like but probably not a big change there that cover display is pretty similar sized as well but the image everyone's kind of freaking out about is this one though this is the interior screen you're looking straight down on it there's the same hole punch as there before and people all over the internet all over twitter are saying wow look at the middle there you can't see the crease the crease is gone it's it's far less noticeable this is a place though that i'm gonna have to i'm sorry we have to pump our brakes a little bit on here and i'm gonna tell you why because in terms of looking at the crease on the Z Flip 3, the Z Flip 4 in this instance, this angle and this white background is absolutely worthless. And I can demonstrate this. This is the image we just now looked at. This is an image of my wife's Z Flip 3. We know the Z Flip 3 has a rather noticeable crease. This is a Z Flip 3 that is a launch Z Flip 3. So that crease has gotten worse over time. It's there, trust me, you can feel it. And if you're off axis, you can see it. But from this angle, with this color background, you're not seeing anything, okay, at all. So this image, I don't know if this was meant to be taken in a way that would be misleading, right? But let's be honest, if I'm going to take a picture of my wife's phone and I'm going to try and make you not see the crease, that's the picture I'm going to take, right? You know, if I'm off axis, you're going to see it a whole lot more. This picture doesn't tell us anything. So I'm not saying that Z Flip 4 is going to have the same crease as the Z Flip 3. It's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is this picture doesn't tell you anything about the crease. So when you see all these people on the internet, okay, different news publications, people on Twitter telling you, they're, they're, oh, look at this. There's no crease. They don't know what they're talking about. They've evidently never held one of these devices. They don't know how this works because that's what I'm telling you. That's how it works. And I can demonstrate this really, really easily. Let's go overhead. This is a Z Fold. Do you see a crease? No, you don't. You don't see a crease at all. I can get right up on you. You're not going to be able to see it unless I get off axis. Oh my God, there's the crease. Oh, it's gone now. It's perspective, guys. All right, so let's pump the brakes. Let's not get too awful freaked out and then set ourselves up for a massive disappointment when it still has a crease because let's be honest they're not going to the super wide teardrop notch like we've seen other manufacturers go with they're sticking with a, a very tight radius curve there inside and because of that it's going to have a notch so again i plead with you don't get your hopes up for something that almost certainly is not going to happen. There is going to be a crease. There's going to be a divot on the Z Flip 4. But at any rate, it's still pretty cool that at this point we've gotten, I mean, we just know at this point what this thing looks like. And it looks like a pretty iterative update if we're being honest here. The Flip 3 to Flip 4 looks like a very small change. Camera system staying similar. Cover display similar. Screen size similar. Internal specs, yeah, you're getting a bump there, right? Going to the probably the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 Plus or something 
like that. But otherwise, looks like a pretty minimal spec jump. Maybe the flip three comes down in price and becomes a pretty good buy at that point. Guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe on your way out. I will see you on the next one. And until next time, stay nerdy, my friends.